circuits. So I'm gonna go to circuits and I am going to create new circuit. Circuits, and then I'm gonna click the green box, create new circuit. So um, let me know. I have been told by my students that I talk fast. So if you are having problems keeping up because I'm going too fast, be like, Professor Barry, oh, I didn't tell you how to address me. Professor Barry, can you slow down, please? Okay. If you're good, you got your, put got it or thumbs up or something. So I know you're good. Okay. Your screen should now look like mine. And over here on the right, there's a search box. So things I want you to search for and slide onto your workspace. The first one's gonna be a breadboard. So type the word breadboard. The size doesn't matter, small, mini, whatever. Just pick whatever breadboard comes up. We're only putting something really small. So I'm gonna slide my breadboard over here. Uh-oh, I'm drawing wires. I didn't mean to do that. So I'm gonna slide my breadboard over. Then type the word button, button, B-U-T-T-O-N, button. Like I'm in college, I know how to spell button. <laughs> I'm also very silly, I don't know if I mentioned that. Button, type the word button and push button comes up. So slide push button over into your workspace. Okay. Then we're going to type LED for light emitting diode, type LED, and then slide the LED over into your workspace. Okay. Okay. Then type the word battery, battery. Uh-oh, I can't spell battery. Lord, pray for me. Battery and slide the nine volt battery over into your workspace, nine volt battery. Okay. Um, oh, and then the resistor. The last thing is the resistor. So then type the word resistor and a resistor is gonna come up, but it's going to be the wrong size. So we're gonna slide the resistor over into our workspace and then we have to change it. Okay, here's your first quiz of the evening. What value is that resistor currently? Brown, black, red is a one kilo ohm resistor. Remember the gold band just means it's a 5% resistor. That's way too big. If I put that in series with my LED, the LED won't turn on because I dropped too much voltage across that resistor. So I need it to be 330 ohms. So if I double click on the resistor, um, over here, it allows me to change it. This blue box comes up and I can then type what I want in the blue box. So I change it from kilo ohms to ohms. And I change the number to 330 ohms. And notice what happened here. When I changed it to 330 ohms, the colors changed on the resistor. So the resistor changed to be orange, orange, brown. Okay. I want to stop there for a minute. Are there any questions? All right. So I want to turn this um, so it looks like the video and you can see the notes. So to, to rotate things, you click on them and you press the R on your keyboard, press the R on your keyboard. Okay. So if I press the, oh, look how it's, it's already starting to add stuff for me because it's trying to be smart. Yeah. So now my breadboard is vertical. So it looks like it did in the slides. And the first thing I wanna put is my power. Normally you put power last because you don't wanna burn anything up, but this is all fake. So we'll put the power first. So <laughs> I'm then going to, so now you're gonna turn your battery so that it's vertical because if I hover over it, I see that the left lead is my positive and the light, right lead is my negative. So I'm turning it because I need to make sure that the red lead goes to my red node for positive voltage and the black lead goes to my black node for negative voltage, okay? So now what I'm gonna do to supply the power to this circuit is slide the battery down so that it attaches right at the red bus and the black bus, that's my power. Okay, so I attached my battery to the red power bus 
and the black power bus. So it, now that this red bus is reading nine volts, this black bus is reading zero volts. The difference in charge, nine volts and zero volts. Okay, any questions so far? Next, I am going to put my LED. So I'm gonna rotate my LED. And as long as I put each leg in a different row number, I'm good. Common mistake students make is to short out devices by putting them on the same number and letter, A through E. Shorting out means I'm tying the legs together, right? So I cannot have both legs in F through J of the same number or both legs in A through E of the same number because you're shorting it out by tying it at a node. So one of my legs is in H. 17, the other leg is in H18, and I need to pay attention. The longer leg is in H17, okay? So now I'm gonna put my resistor, remember it can either be a pull up or pull down resistor. I'm gonna tie it to voltage because it doesn't really matter. So I can make it work either way. I want, to, maybe I'll show you that it doesn't matter. So, I'm going to take my resistor and I will put it in the positive voltage like that, right? So my current is going to flow from that positive voltage through the anode, which is the positive lead on the LED. Then it would go through the cathode to ground. Let me show you what happens if I don't put the button in. If I take this wire and connect it directly there. and I press start simulation, the LED turns on. Ooh, it's magic. Y'all ain't no fun. All right, but I don't wanna do that. I wanna show you how to use a digital input. So I'm gonna take that out. Did everybody understand what I just did there? I closed the circuit so that the current flowed from voltage through the LED to ground, All right? This is why you never touch voltage power lines because you have a resistance and the current would flow through your body to get through lower resistance to get to the other end and it could shock and stop your heart. And that's how people get electrocuted when they get touched by a power line. Full of fun facts. Okay, so I'm taking this away. I'm rotating my button so that I can put it over the ditch. Remember, you have to put things over the ditch so you don't short it out. So I gotta put the button there. All right, it doesn't work otherwise because I short out the legs, okay? So now I'm gonna put a wire that goes to one side of my button and you tell me where does the other side of the button need to go? Okay, and then I'm gonna start my simulation. Why didn't nothing happen? The light didn't turn on. What's going on? Is it broke? Yeah. I didn't press the button, right? The current's not flowing because I have an open circuit. My pipe is broken. I have to close the pipe so that the current flows. So, uh-oh, why did it work? Oh, there it is. I wasn't pressing the button, sorry. So if I press the button, the LED turns on. For the old folks, <laughs> but whatever your social media is, every time you get any project working, whether it's your light blinking, a motor spinning, your robot moving, I want you to go and amplify it on social media and to tag me, tag your other TAs, tag Black and Robotics, tag Black and Engineering, tag BVCC. I don't know if Kali noticed, but I've even been tagging BVCC in some posts today. Because if we're going to diversify STEM, people need to see our little black and brown faces doing STEM and doing robotics and doing engineering. So whatever that is, whatever your socials are, whatever you youngins do, make sure you are sharing your engineering with the world.